So with me is Bill Redlin, who was the host of Morning Edition for so many years here at WAMU, more than two decades, I think. Uh, that's right, about 23 years. Yeah. So it must have been an enormous change <laughs> when, you, when you moved over to working in the daylight. It was. It was a personal change as well as a professional one. Uh, getting up at 3 in the morning for that long uh, requires you to have an extended period of adjustment. And it was about probably six or seven weeks before I felt comfortable with my routine in terms of normal sleeping patterns and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I'm just enjoying life now. I, I love it. Uh, I really enjoy the middle of the day now and seeing people at the station and doing different things. And it's worked out very well. But what do you like to do when you're not at the station? I like to listen to jazz and I like to cook. Uh, I've been cooking at home for the family for probably 30 years. And uh, so my favorite, one of my favorite things is to be in the kitchen with jazz or with All Things Considered on, for example, and just make uh, a pot roast or a uh, chicken pot pie or maybe a pizza or whatever and uh, have the family enjoy it. You don't get many good chicken pot pies in this part of the world. Is there, <laughs> is there a secret? <laughs> Well, the secret, first of all, is to cook the chicken correctly, and then the crust is quite important. Now, Nina is the baker in the family, uh, so I'll take her crusts and use them, uh, and that makes a very big difference. If uh, you know the crust is nice and crispy and flaky, uh, then what you put into it tastes better as well. So it's more of a double act, really, than... Uh... It is, it is. Well, she's really a better cook, a better chef, but because of my schedule... It was better for me to do the grocery shopping and the cooking and then have dinner ready in the evening when she got home and when the kids got home when they were, you know, school age. Now, you talk about your family. Where are the kids now? Growing uh, up? They are growing up. Uh, my uh, son works for the Postal Service, and he's in the area. My daughter teaches in Montgomery County, and uh, she has two children. She and her husband uh, have a daughter who's six and a son who's going on two. Uh, and we just have a wonderful time. We're very fortunate that they're close by. We get to see them a lot. So no radio following in your footsteps? No. Uh, ben tried it for a while, but it just didn't suit him. I thought he would be good because he has a good voice, and he loves to do imitations, but he wasn't comfortable with the routine, so after about a year, he sort of gave it up. You've been in the middle of this radio scene here for all these years. Who have you most admired down the years of your fellow broadcasters? Oh, Diane. Diane Rehm uh, is the hardest working, most intelligent person uh, I've come in contact with in, in the business. She is just extraordinary, and uh, there are many others, uh, but Diane just kind of stands out. Anybody on other stations? Um, well, there have been. I grew up listening to a lot of the stations in Chicago because I was in a small town near there. And, uh, gosh, there were just uh, a lot of people. Larry Lujak was one of the announcers who had an early uh, sort of an influence. Um, there have been, oh, gosh, some of the news people, Bill Curtis, who was on Chicago television for a long time, um, and Ed Murrow um, on television when I was growing up was a key figure. I, I really got interested in news, I think, because of his programs. When you look at the growth of the audience over the years at WAMU, and the station's always had a loyal audience, but now it's, it's bigger than it's ever been. Does that surprise you? No. Uh, we've always been about quality here. Um, we've never done some, something just to draw a crowd. We've always done what we thought needed to be done, and we've tried to do it well. And I think that pays off. I think people appreciate quality. I think the people in the area are very interested in what's happening here and around the world, and we've given them a lot to listen to and a lot to consider over the years with our programming. Now, you, you mentioned international, and you like to travel as well, I know. I do. Um, we've been able, been fortunate enough to be uh, traveling to Europe on occasion. Uh, Ireland was a great fun uh, about two years ago. Um, we've also spent some time in the Bahamas and in that part of the world, and look forward to some more. Where's the next um, stop? Well, the next stop for me will be Kansas, but after that, right. um, we're going to explore the Grand Canyon here, and then we hope to get back to Italy for a while uh, in the near future because we didn't see all of that country by any means and want to spend some more time looking around. Bill, thank you very much. Oh, thank you.